Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to get these in. I was in the Asda yesterday shopping and I've seen these. 60 pence. You get like um, spinach, kale, broccoli. What's that? Four, can I see it? The eyes are went. Four, can I see it? But anyway, you get them, um, and I paid 40 pence for them, 40 pence each. I've just planted another one, uh, but not having it. That's got. Come here. Pumpkin. Courgette, broccoli, squash, that's it. But uh, for 40 pence, you can't go wrong, man, can you? So get yourself down to Asda store, see what else do I get? Oh, I've got these in there. I think these were 20 pence each. Right, there we've got basil, thyme, rocket, a herb mix, chives, and Italian leaf mix. That's like all your herbs. But for 20 pence, man. Oh, wait. Bargain, man. Bargain. I'll tell you what else we've got. In this one, We've got cucumber, salad, tomatoes, cress, spring onion, radish, and lettuce. Iceberg lettuce. Uh, we're gone, 20 pence. Can I go wrong? Right, this was a uh, up in Benton. Um, courgette, carrot, onion, beetroot, broccoli, and cabbage. Beauty's them, man, for the 20 pence each. What's this one? Serrano chili. Coriander. Um, Japanese greens. Chili cayenne. Cinnamon basil. In pak choy. Twenty pence each. I may as well get them there and they go, they go, they don't, they don't. I'll just say uh, get some more in next year. Right, we'll start getting some of these in. Right, we'll go for the pot noodle tubs again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's all I need, eight. There's only eight seeds there. Bang these all full of soil. Right, I'll just bang these all full of soil. Only filling them there, just where the line is on your pot noodle where you fill it in, right? Because that cobble's got to go inside. I'll do this one to show you. Right. Number one, what's that? Spinach. One and two spinach, so I'll take that out. Right, get a marker. Right. Oh, I need another one. 
पेनाइट के So you got one of your spinach. They're just like that. Just uh, and you got to just get it and push it to in there in the center. And just push it in there, and then I top it off with a bit of soil. I get started on the top. Well, bit compost in the top or peat, whatever you want to call it. Because this is a peat mix, this one. And then splash your sign in there. Well, spell it right. S P I N E C H. S P I N E C H. I heard. That's a force for me. Normally thick at things I add. Neat and I'll get on with the rest. Just get them all filled. Two left. Wait, oh, that's been it's one. Straight in the centre. Grab this side. Lay straight on the top. And then squash that down. Spinach label. Straight in there, lay like out. And then there's them um, done. Read what we're going for next. Um, three and four. Three and four is kale. Read. Three and four, kale. The kale ones. I'll see there because I've got to put the soil in.
Here we go. Put it up. Whoop. There's one part of it. Right, next ones is. Oh, Karabi it is. Karabi. For five and six. Five and six. Got them to win. Starting that one. It's starting that one. Sorry about that. These are just face to seal in there, two seconds. Every day I have problems when I try the coding. Every day of all feel. Wait. I'll just put it in there. Aye. And that one. Alright. Had a feel inside the post to see them with the ones I got distracted there. Right, and how do you spell this? Oh, is any bigger right anyway? Oh there. Karabi. Karabi. Oh, Karabi. I didn't have ways. That's what it is anyway. I know it's a purple, like a uh, turnip sort of thing. I grew them in my last night a lot before I got born doing. Got good results on them and all I did. Last two, get them in. Put soil in there, base soil in there. We get a couple of labels for them. I kind of wait till uh, my gimbal comes. It's like a tripod. And you can move about and it moves about with you. Uh, just leaning the phone, trying to uh, stand it up. Keeps on falling down on that one. And there's no way to put it where I can, like, I was going to make uh, some type of device out of way as, like, a tripod. But I'll just wait till that comes. It's all that now. Right, and these. Where are they? Do, 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 do. Just trying to see if I haven't done them right in.
Double cam, properly. That's that done. Broccoli in there, that's that done. That's that sorted. Oh, I think I'll get on with these potatoes next. What I'm doing with these potatoes is I'm getting something like this, and I'm just going to sip the potatoes inside them like that. They're sweet potatoes. Just gonna set them and say light add and just fill the water so much but I'm gonna have these hovering up just inside the water light add light add just hovering up a little bit light add just so that only so much of the tart is getting covered and there's a bit of air underneath sort of thing it's just so that and sprout so that's not flat and getting mouldy now on the bottom it's lifted a little bit and uh, that will grow like little sprouts, like little chits sort of things, I forgot what you call them now. Is it spades or something? And you get them and you snap them off with a root and you put them in the soil. I'll show you as they, if they grow. Uh, but I'll do that a bit soon. Um, what am I doing now? Reading that with for now, season a bit. Read her out again. Right then, I'm gonna get on with these. Uh, can I move them out the way? I put these over here. Right, move these tatties out the way. Get in there. Right, move these couple of pots on there. Sorry for not being organised, but... Oh, God. Right. I'm going to get the, these teeny little pots here. And I've got a few pumpkins which are shooting on there. I'm going to get them in. Because I've only got these. These are really thin. Look at the size of anything I can see them. See how they're starting stuff off in these? Because you've only got teeny little bit of soil. And... When you're watering, you, your seed doesn't go too deep in case it drops, you know. And you, you, I nearly always, always got 100% when I'm planting these. They're off biscuits. Just when I buy the biscuits, I keep the bottoms off them. The little trays. And I plant my seeds in here. And like I say, you get 100%. I was saying, look, there's one coming up there. There's one coming up there. So, does it look great? See, I like to help them out a little bit, me, you know. I like to just go and eat this, me. When, when they start going, see what I'm doing here, I'll show you. And grab this, this shell and just give it a little pull off. That was buried under the soil, that whole thing there. So I've seen it, so I've just took it out the soil, pushed the, the roots back in, patted a bit of soil underneath, and took the shell off the top. Now that'll grow really good. Now I'll just leave that one in there, you see. I'll leave that one in because it's only tiny little water leaves. Now I'll get these two in. Right. A bit of soil. Oh, in fact, I'll use them pots there. Bit of that.
for a hole in the centre. Oh, I'll get these a little bit big blood, this bone, the bone wheel, a bit passes by the seaweed. Um, Right, we've got that in there. And that in there. Right. That's gone. Get our little mix in with my finger. Right, I've showed you this before, I like to just get these. Well, you can see the root coming f through this side of there, look at it. If you can just get it and put it straight through the back there. And just tip it. And then the same at this side. Just give it a little tip like that. So you get right the very bottom, the root, uh, underneath the roots. And I just tease them out. Some bad boy roots on that, look at that. Got a hold of that by the water leaf there. Right, this one can go into there. Now it is, in fact, I'm gonna put them into pot noodle tubs. Good look at that. the size of that root. See I've already got the soil in there. So I'll just go and like that. Okay. And then bush. I've got on my feed inside that hole haven't I? Right and this is going straight into there. That's when I go down here. Make the hole a bit bigger. Just for them roots. There we go. Straight in. Straight in the right yard. Just straighten our up. There we go. One giant pumpkin. Oh, okay. So it. We put that here. We get this next one put in. Oh, hold on, wait, I just put, put that further away and put, round, put the side around it. Already. That will still grow. We right, can get this one. Take three wood. Three out. Decent roots on that one, and I. Right, I'll do the same with this. Get that next. Put the roots on. And 
same level with that ready for this screen there you go and then straight in push make that hole a little bit bigger and that can go straight in there straight in Each guy's label in there. Giant pumpkin. Right. Put them in on the fifth right? with Everything I've just done there. Just trying to know for me diary, you know. And I'll just pat that soil down there. Just in case any more decide to come through. They're out coming through over here. Rope, oh, there's one there. There's one there. Oh, can you see it? Just starting to come through there. See, like I say, I like to take them out like that. Just didn't touch the root. And I just like to peel the skin back on this. Uh, and take the, it out. Get it back in the way you took the root. And then just put the soil back around the root. Just toughen it all down. So it's nice and compact. There we go, that's it there. I've just took the shell off it. So I know it's got a much better chance of growing by the opening and that. Just cover them roots there because there's a little stone there. There we go. Sorted. Same as that one, I took that one out and I took the shell off that one because that was buried under the soil. I'll just leave that a couple of days, that'll be roots, they'll be growing open and that. Put our on there. Keep an eye on that. Read, um, how many little pots have I got? One, two, three. Two seconds, I'm just gonna get some pots
load more pot noodle tubs there. Threat now eat plenty of pot noodles, hey. Load of the smaller ones. What I'm doing there. I had one because some of these haven't got towers in them myself. I have to keep an eye on them when I go to put on. They've got no holes in. It's pumping at the size here. Yeah. Right. Spill it. Whoop! Well, that's heat down a little bit. Oh, yeah, I like that. Then I'll take one. And now these are a bit small, they're just starting to come through there but I've got no other option but to get them in because the snails love them and they just take the heat straight off them so if I can get them in and get them under some type of a like a little greenhouse, make me a little greenhouse out of something and that will stop them from getting to them Oh, I've got little cups there I can use. Two seconds. and I'll show you this is what we'll be doing we we'll get that filled we'll just get that one how many one two three four five All these pots are look as size of my hand. That's what size they are. Just I hate watching videos and people pull up videos but they don't show you what size pot are so you gotta guess it. But uh, that's the boot the size of my fist sort of thing. A little bit bigger it is. One more, I'm done for that one. I just dig a hole right in the centre like that. Push the side out to the sides. Now right the way round. Just push the side out to the sides. Because then, when you squeeze your part on these ones, and then try to push it out, there you are. And you just drop it straight into there. Just push the soil down. I 
and now it's a bit small but this is going to prevent the snails from getting to it there we go sorted right and then I'll put it in here to get bottom water there we go voila right we uh, do the same with these just pull this side right this side Yeah, this is one but I uh, about this so you look at it, it's got like little bits of root of the moss you know I've took like most of the like little what do you call them I think the name branches or it's a bit you know the whatever else is in it that's why I sieve it you know but Uh, just pick the boot as I go along. Right, got this next one. Uh, here it comes. Let's grab that. Straight by there. Straight in. Just push it to another bit. I kind of really look at this camera because it's hard to do this, you know. When that other oh, camera, oh, that label's in the way. Right, I just push the style right the way around the edge, just like that. There we go, right, another one of these. I just work straight over the top. There we go, look at Where boots are they? Oh, there they are. That's them there. Get this sorted back out. Got to get the sort straight away. What's that movie for? What are the idiots? Oh wait, that would be right. And we'll go for the rest. We'll just get that sorted out and stay. See, it's just sticking out there a little bit. I just get a bit of soil, put it on, bit on top of it, and then just push it down with the soil. Push. And then move the soil around it. Move that little boulder there. Keep on moving the soil in and then pushing it down so it's covered. Another one done. See, it's like a little greenhouse for the plant.
the last two. Can't even root on that one, so I'll dig that a bit deeper. Oh my god. Couldn't have gotten that in or a better thing because the soil was just going crispy on the outside. I don't know what I'm putting them on for because I've got to water them yet. I'm only going to have to take them off to water them. I, I just... If I can't be bothered to bother the boots yeah, with them, I just rip the sides. And then you just grab it by there. But I like to push them out. And then just grab them. And you get all the root of it. Wait, hold on. All the root of it like that. Reach, I'm not going to bother putting the top on that, I'll just take them ones off there a second. Give that a quick bash of water. Oh, with these bag on, these should be steamed up in half an hour. Now with the condensation of them. And oh, yeah, I needed one more, I knew I did. I, this should practically steam up pretty quickly. Oh, we're gone, that's there, mate. Where we'll put it? They'll be gone there to all them in. And the sun can get through them, spot on. Uh, and no beasties can get inside them and chew them away. So they die, they die, but uh, I think they'll make a good recovery. Because, uh, like I say, the heads have been bit off the other ones. I was gutted, like. So I hide some more in, and there, that's the results. So. Right, and what we're going for next? Right. Right, I'll leave you safe, I know, right, I'll see you in a bit. Right, ta-da, now.